Great job, Reggae. Ah, oh, cheers, Monica. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Oh, I bet you were. It's really metaphorical. Shut up. I don't do metaphors, right? Oh, everyone underestimates me, Monica. I'm actually gorgeous and just no one realised. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Oh, that I do. That I do. It always counts and it puts some effort. Exactly. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yes. I do know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, Monica. That's why I wrote it. Oh, bollocks. Symbolism again. I don't like it. No, I just want a straightforward poem. If I could actually write my own poem, it would be a real poem. Or some sort of symbolic rubbish that doesn't even rhyme. But Sayori is a simple and direct word to describe happiness and sadness. You see, I would much prefer to do that. But Sayori reminds me of David too much. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. No, that just means that there's no meaning. I'm sorry, Yuri. As, as much as I like Yuri, no, in their level. I'm not in uh, Yuri's league. I'm gonna get rejected. Real life simulator. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Oh, that rhymes. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Sounds like my audio recordings. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine. Don't you talk to him at mass. No, get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too funny, Monica. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. No, it doesn't. I didn't think anything like that. That sounds like total bollocks. That is your typical analytical poem stuff that means nothing. Look, right, Monica, I don't mean to offend you, but that is utter, utter rubbish. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Oh, what? Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your... <laughs> that is unsettlingly meta. I... I feel like I'm sort of... I'm a bit worried. Go on then, David. What have you got to say? If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. No, that's not true. Be nice to me. I can't see you liking something sad, Siori. That's really David, and David is like optimistic all the time. Which is actually why we work so well together. I'm like his little rain cloud. Although I'm not his, I should probably clarify that. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. <clears throat> How can you, <laughs> if you, <laughs> dreams are in movies that live in your head every night. When you sleep in your bed, deeper and deeper my fingers go. Oh, that that sounds oh. That's a bit rude, Reggit. I wouldn't I wouldn't say things like that because I'm not rude like you. You know, voice of Doki Doki, you don't represent me very well. You watch anime, you use the swears like Battle Cat Bro. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. I feel like all of this is foreshadowing. Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. Woo! Oh no. How do you pick up on this so quickly? You did a good job explaining. Oh, Reggie, you flirt. Look at you. Oh, look at that. Go on, Reggie. Go on. I mean, this is the closest I will get to being in a relationship with anyone. Is it being simulated within a game? Because nobody cares about me in real life. If I wrote someone a poem, they'd say, Stop. <laughs> Stop writing me poems. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. No problem, Yuri. Glad to appreciate you. I wonder what will happen. I want to share it if it's with you. Oh, Yuri, you flirt. Okay, let's be nice about a poem, and you, even if it doesn't rhyme. I'm now a bit confused. You know what? Because I like you, I like your poem. See, at least me and Doki Doki Reggit are now sharing the same experience of not knowing what on earth this is about. Wait, am I trying to set up Yuri and Natsuki or something? I don't want to do that. No. It's me and Yuri all the way. Yeah, yeah. Hands off Natsuki. Right. <clears throat> okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Oh, that's true. I have something extra planned today. That first of all, we're going to be performing. <laughs> We're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. <laughs> 
Oh, this reminds me of David, actually, ironically, because um, in our class, in our old school, David was the only person who would take part in the performing event because none of us could be bothered. And actually, by year 11, David couldn't be bothered either, and none of us took part in it. That was brilliantly hilarious. Our form tutor hated us for that, but you know what? It was incredibly fun just fobbing it off completely. Oh, Yuri, no, don't doubt yourself. P perform, 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 perform. Go on, Yuri. I know you can. You're my bae. She's pixels on a screen and I'm getting emotionally invested. Oh, this game is too good.